We're all coming. Advice Monroe and East County Police clear to stop that lake road, but maybe closer. Citizen, help! Take off for help, like get out of code for your stop. Oh, that's a does it feel so good to be back welcome back everyone i hope you all enjoyed the little intro cutscene. today i have three brand new outfits the first one you saw in the intro cutscene, which i hope you all enjoyed let me know your thoughts down in the comments but it is called the special response enforcement unit outfit the second outfit today that i have created for you guys is the desert combat operative And then the third and final outfit that I've created for you guys is sort of eh, but I like it. I still like it. I call it the Bomb Squad Outfit. Heavy, duty, tactical, ready to get blown up with a bomb in his face, I guess. I don't know. So let's start off with the Bomb Squad outfit. We're going to go to the outfit section located at the front desk of any store. Once here, we're going to go under the Gorka Suits category and use the Charcoal Gorka Suit. Once that's equipped, we're going to go over to the top section and under Utility Vest, we're going to purchase and equip the Black Plate Carrier. Now for the pants, under Utility Pants, we'll be using the Dark Gray Knee Pad Cargos. Over at the hats section, under the Riot Helmets category, use the Black Riot. Now head on over to the accessories and under the gloves section at the bottom of the list, we'll be using the Black Tactical Gloves. Once we have that equipped, we're going to head on over to Ammunition. Once inside, we're going to go up to the front desk and we'll notice the parachute bag in the upper left hand corner. If you don't have a parachute bag, go ahead and purchase one and then go down to the parachute bags category. Make sure you have a black combat shoot bag purchased and equipped. Once that's done, you can back on out. Open up your interaction menu then, and then go down to styles. Go down to parachute and turn your parachute on. Make sure you have the black combat shoot bag equipped. Once you do, you can close out of your interaction menu and go over to the wall on the left hand side. Here we'll be saving the outfit as a temporary save. Now make your way over back to the clothing store 
And we're going to be going up to the glasses section. Here we're going to purchase these sports glasses and under the sports glasses we'll be using the mono outlaw goggles. You'll notice the helmet will disappear, not a big deal. Just keep them equipped and head on over to the mask store. Under the intimidation category, purchase and equip the black mandible. From there we're going to make our way over to the nearest telescope, no matter if it's in your apartment or if it's going to be the one located down along the beach. Once here, have the mask equipped. If you don't know how to do this glitch, I, I, ha, I, I have a link. It's in the description. Run past the telescope with the mask on, and make sure you hit the activation button at the right time, have the mask equipped, and if done properly, your player will stand there staring at nothing. Open up the interaction menu, go to styles, and then equip the saved outfit. Once the equipped outfit is saved, you'll notice the mask will disappear with the helmet returning. Walk away from the telescope and you'll see the mask reappear. Again, if you don't know how to do this, or if you don't think it works, it does. I have the link in the description. I, I, it's so simple. It's all about the timing. Um, anyways, now we're going to get the glasses back on. We're going to do the telescope glitch again. Run past the telescope, hit the activation button to look into it. You'll see your player glitch and stand there if done properly. Open up the interaction menu. Go to accessories and equip the glasses, the mono goggle outlaws. Wherever they are, there they are. Mono outlaw goggles, that's what they're called. Anyways, once those are equipped, once again, all we need to do is back out of our interaction menu and then walk away from the telescope. As you'll see, the mask and the helmet now reappear with the goggles equipped as well. Which gives this cool little look that it all looks kind of flush and one piece, which is super cool. From there, all we have to do is just save the outfit. And as you guys know, this can be done anywhere, whether it's at the mask store, whether at your apartment or a clothing store, just save the outfit for a final time. And then you have yourself the Bomb Squad outfit. Now let's begin the Special Response Enforcement Outfit. To start this off, we'll be beginning at the Tops section. Under the Utility Vest category, use the Black Reinforced Armor. Once that's done, if you're part of my crew, you can then equip the crew emblem that has the police logo on it. If you're not a part of my crew, I'll leave a link in the description so you can get this. If you're in my crew and not using the tag, I'm going to have to unfortunately kick you out to make room for new members that are wanting to use this. Sorry it'd be like that. Now go under the Rolled Sleeves t-shirt category and purchase and equip the Charcoal Rolled Tee. Over at the Pants section, go under the Team Pants category and equip any of them. It doesn't matter which one, we're just using them to get the boots that we want. From there, go to the Cargo Pants category, purchase and equip the Navy Large Cargos. Jump over to the hat section and under the designer caps category backwards, we'll be using the black curved backwards. At the accessory section, you'll see that you can't equip any of the scarves, so we're going to have to save the outfit as a temporary save. Once done, equip a gun running t-shirt, doesn't matter which one. From there, unequip your armor that you're wearing. Go back to the, the scarf section and purchase the black desert scarf. Once you have it purchased, you can back out, open up your interaction menu, and equip the saved outfit that we had just made. From there, once it's equipped, go back to accessories, and then scroll until you have the Black Desert Scarf equipped. From there, we're going to be equipping the Black Driving Gloves under the Gloves category. Next, at the front desk, under the glasses, at the Sports Glasses category, we'll be using the Mono Tactical Goggles. From there, save the outfit once again. We'll be heading over to Ammunition. This time we're going to be going up to the gear section located in the center of the store, and we'll be equipping an earpiece. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to probably use the LCD earpiece just because it stands out the most. And then we'll be saving the outfit another time. Go on over to the mask store and under the me, 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 the ski mask category, purchase and equip the black spec ski and we'll be doing the telescope mask glitch once again. 
if I have to explain this one more time, it's in the description. Just run past the telescope, having the mess equipped. Hit the activation button. If done properly, you'll stand there and stand. Your player will stand doing nothing. Blah blah blah. Open up your interaction menu. Equip the outfit. Walk away and close out your interaction menu. Blah blah. Boom! The mask is now on your character with the hat and the goggles. Fantastic! Doesn't that look amazing? Just save the outfit for a final time, and that gives you the special response enforcement outfit. So let's begin the final outfit, the Desert Combat Operative. Once again, we'll be starting out at the top section. From here, under the Utility Tops category, purchase and equip the brown Digital Combat shirt. Once that's equipped, we can go to the Utility Vest category, and then we'll be using the brown Digital Plate Carrier. Now over at the Pants, equip any of the team pants, it doesn't matter which one, it allows us to get the boots that we want. Over at the shoes section, under the boots category, purchase and equip the black tactical boots. Once that's done, go back to the pants, and under cargo pants, equip the brown digital cargos. Now going over to the glasses section, under sports glasses, purchase and equip the brown digital tactical goggles. Over at the hat section, under the combat helmets, we'll be using the brown dual digital dual lens. Now under the accessories at the gloves category, we'll be using the black tactical gloves. From there, just save the outfit as a temporary save. Next, we'll be making our way over to ammunition and going up to the front desk. We'll be going to the parachute in the upper left hand corner. If you don't have a bag, purchase one and then go down to the parachute bag and, e and purchase the uh, black combat shoot bag and equip it. Once that is done, you can back out, open up your interaction menu, and then go down to Styles. Go down to the parachute, turn your parachute on, making sure you have the black combat shoot bag equipped. Once you do, you can close out the interaction menu and save the outfit as a temporary save once again. Now make your way over to the mask store. And under the ski mask category, we'll be using the brown digital tactical ski. Once again, we'll have to do the telescope mask glitch, so make your way on over. Make sure you have the mask equipped, run past the telescope, hit the activation button. If, you're pro if you've done it properly, your player will stand there and stare at nothing. Don't touch any buttons, open up your interaction menu, go down to styles, and equip the saved outfit that we had just made. From there, you'll see the mask disappear, no big deal, walk away from the telescope, and then you'll see the mask reappear with the goggles and the helmet. And then voila! Again, I'll leave a link in the description for that telescope mask glitch for further detail. Anyways, that is how you get the Desert Combat Operative. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, or at least inspired you to make some outfits of your own. As always, my name is Muffly, and I will see you badasses out in Los Santos.